Yes, people, welcome back to Loaded Cannon, Albert JTV fan cam, Fulham nil, Arsenal free. Five point lead, back at the top of the table, restored. Another London derby victory for Arsenal, faultless this season. Let's get into it, people, but where do I start? So, the first thing that stood out for me in terms of Arsenal's team lineup wasn't actually the lineup, it was our bench and the strength in our bench. Gave me a lot of confidence. Trossard comes back into the team. Massive, massive asset to us since he's joined us. Jesus on the bench. So, listen, Arsenal fans were buoyed. I did think this would be a tricky game. I did think it'd be a tricky game. Yes, Fulham had Paulinho missing, but they got some good players. Manu Solomon, five and five goals. Mitrovic hadn't scored an eight goal. So, of course, he was due against Arsenal. Um, Ducker Dover Reed in the wide areas and Pereira's had a good season for Fulham so it was going to be tough um, prediction wise before the start of the game lead up to the Arsenal Fulham game um, I thought Arsenal would win 2-1 um, but one thing I was impressive I've got to be honest Arsenal played some really good games this season um, but today that first 20-25 minutes for me Arsenal were composed they were controlled and they dominated possession they looked comfortable um, and you know, we get the goal thinking we've gone one nil up, but it's disallowed because of VAR and Martinelli's offside. But we get the goal to go one nil up. Set piece. Arsenal now are joint with Fulham in terms of set pieces, um, goal score from set pieces, sorry, in the league. Fantastic, fantastic stat. Gabriel brilliantly rose at the back. One nil Arsenal. Get the second goal. Martinelli, great work by Trossard. Um we go, we go 2 0. You can talk about the Fulham defending, but I don't care, to be honest with you. Martinelli gets another goal. Is that five and six now for him? Brilliant run of form, man. And you know what? The way that first half was going, Arsenal were dominant. We, we kept the ball really, really well. They tried to press us in our defensive areas, but we bypassed them. And we saw it, um, you know, I think it was, it was with, it was with, it was with the second goal, sorry. Great ball out from Saliba, actually, which by dissects their midfield. Jacob moves the ball onto Trossard and we get the goal to go 2-0. I think that's right. Um, and I thought, you know what? Arsenal can get a third here and really hammer home the chances. We had great patches of play, to be honest with you, if you look back at that match. Xhaka, oh, should have scored, man. Kind of got in there, he didn't know what to do, but it's a great move. Um, a Martinelli chance, a, a Trossard chance. Again, there was chances after chances after chances. But I said, if Arsenal can get that third goal, deservedly, by the way, this game is done. And we get it. Great composure from Martin Erdogan. Again, another assist from Trossard. A hat-trick of assists. First time, I believe, since, um, is it Fabregas against Blackburn in 09, I believe it was. Um, Martin Odegaard, beautiful composed finish, 3-0. Game done. Arsenal bossed it, man. Really, really, I'm really happy with that first half performance because it was so assured. Tough away ground to go to, Craven Cottage. It's not easy, but we made them, like Alice Smith said in the commentary, for a period it was men against boys, and it was. It absolutely was. Arsenal were brilliant in that first half. Really, really pleased with what I saw. And so we're coming into second half, it was about how we managed the game. That's all it was about. Fulham were going to come out a little bit better. Um, but Arsenal, because of the first half dominance, I think, was it 54.54% 54. 54 possession? Seven shots on goal, five on target, four corners. Com complete dominance, man. It was, it was superb. Um, but yeah, it was about how we managed that game in the second half. And rotating the players and giving players minutes and bringing players off because we've got a big game uh, next week against Sporting Lisbon. So Saka comes off on 70 minutes. Um, Jesus comes on. Great to see him back. Got fantastic receptions. I thought he would do. Arsenal, even in the second half, there were passages of play were beautiful, silky football, man. Um, really, really impressed today considering, you know, many people thought we'd get a draw today. Um, because Fulham are, are, have been a good side. You know, if they if they'd have won today, they'd have gone to six. Um, but Arsenal, fantastic, fantastic win. Another clean sheet as well on 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 the on on the road away from home. Um, I think we must be about 11, 12 clean sheets in the Premier League this season, which is fantastic return. Um, better defensively today. Big up to Lee because he dealt with Mitrovic really, really well. Um, but we didn't give them a sniff. We didn't. 
Ramsdale, not a lot to do. Great save in the second half. This is what you want from this team. They are showing signs of maturity. And, you know, we've gotten a couple of players back now where Jesus coming back and Trossard coming back. Trossard makes a massive difference, man. For the Arsenal fans that were sceptical about the signing of him, listen, why? It's not being it's not being wise after the event. He was excellent. And I think he's right for him to get mad in match. In Partey and Pierce again in midfield. Just presence and guile and class. Um really happy today man in a tough fixture but people drop your comments down below tell me what you thought smash the likes man and subscribe to Mo's channel and obviously for the fan cam as well speak to you soon people roll on sporting lisbon come on you gunners